What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to another gun guide. This is the series where I go into great detail with all of the stats of every one of the weapons in Modern Warfare. And in today's episode, we're finally going to be getting into the brand new SMG. This is the Fennec, which is based off of the Chris Vector. And first up, as always, let's have a look at the damage profile. Now, just like with all the SMGs, we deal a different amount of damage to the torso versus the limbs. However, in most situations, you should be aiming for the torso, and therefore that's the damage profile we're going to focus on. This damage profile is 25, 20, 18, 15, which means it's going to take you 4 to 7 shots to kill to the torso. Then when it comes to headshots, we get a pretty standard headshot multiplier of 1.6. And what this means is we do technically have a 3-shot kill potential to the head. However, two of those bullets need to land on the head, and the other one can hit anywhere else in the body. Now, getting into the big strength of this gun, this is the rate of fire, and the rate of fire on this that I was able to calculate was 1,111 rounds per minute, which is the fastest firing full auto gun in the entire game. What this means for our time to kill potential is it's very fast. In the four shot kill range, it's 162 milliseconds, which is faster than almost every gun in the game. However, keep in mind, this is still a little bit slower than the MP5 and the AUG up close. As for our ranges, our 4 shot kill range extends out to about 10 meters, which is fairly standard for that first drop off point on SMGs. It's right around where you see the other SMGs dropping off. However, it does drop off to a 7 shot kill fairly early on, at about 22 meters or so. So you can pretty clearly see that this gun is really designed to excel up close, and once you start stretching out to even mid range, it's going to take you quite a few shots to kill, and your time to kill value does drop off a decent amount. As for suppressors, the lightweight suppressor will reduce our ranges by 25%, the monolithic suppressor increases our ranges by 7.5%, and then finally we have a very unique suppressor which we're going to cover in more detail towards the end of the video, but this one does increase your range values by 20%, which is a great boost for a suppressor. But finally, taking a look at hardcore, the Fennec is going to be a two-shot kill at all ranges, assuming body shots, However, I did want to point out, at longer ranges, if you're shooting the enemy in the limbs, it will actually drop off to a 3-shot kill, which not very many guns in this game will do. Next up, taking a look at the hipfire. This is fairly standard for the SMGs, but I did find that it's slightly better than the majority of the SMGs, but just slightly worse than the MP7. It's right in between there. It's hardly a noticeable difference, though. For all of the SMGs in the game, they have great hipfire potential. Now, getting into idle sway, this is fairly standard for SMGs. You can see that the sights do move around a decent amount while aiming down sights, but this gun isn't designed to excel at those really long-range pick situations anyway, so it doesn't really matter all that much. Next, we want to look at recoil, which the Fennec does have decently high recoil, and it does bounce side to side a decent amount as well. But honestly, considering the fire rates, I think this is pretty good recoil properties, and it's not that difficult to control, especially within the ranges that you should be fighting in with this gun. This isn't the type of gun where you want to be picking people off at longer ranges, and therefore the recoil is generally just not an issue for you within the effective ranges of this gun. Moving on, let's have a look at some of the handling stats. Our aim down sight time with the Fennec is 220 milliseconds, which is fairly standard for SMGs. It's a little bit slower than some of the other SMGs, but it's not the slowest by any means. Then when it comes to our sprint out times, these are standard for SMGs at 133 milliseconds for our standard sprint out time and 217 milliseconds for our tactical sprint out time. Overall, these sprint out times are quite fast. Now, getting into one of the biggest weaknesses of this gun, the magazine capacity is only 25 rounds, and we only get 50 in reserve by default, so you burn through ammo insanely fast with this gun. And on top of this, our reload time is the slowest in the SMG category by a decent margin at 2.17 seconds, or if you use the sleight of hand weapon perk, we can cut this down to 1.34 seconds, and that is more of like a standard reload time with an SMG. So that's actually one of the bigger weaknesses of this gun. You burn through magazines very quickly unless you're using extended mags, and then on top of that, you reload those magazines very slow for the type of gun that this is. Now, moving on to the movement speed with the Fennec, this is 97%, which is very fast, but it is a little bit on the slower side when it comes to the SMG category. And then when it comes to our aim down sight stray speed, this is actually pretty much average for the SMGs at 61%. Now that's pretty much it for the base stats without attachments on the Fennec, however there's one last thing that I just wanted to mention with this. This gun has very slow bullet velocity. And what this means is that longer ranges, hitting moving targets is going to be very difficult, and also you do have to account for bullet drop. There's going to be quite a bit of bullet drop with this gun. 
And this just further solidifies the fact that this SMG is only really designed to be used up close. It's not really versatile like some of the other SMGs that you can actually use quite comfortably at longer ranges like the MP5 or the AUG. This thing is really designed to excel up close in one-on-one -on -one gunfights, and that's pretty much it. You definitely don't want to be using this gun at longer ranges. So those are all the stats for the base version of the Fennec. However, we do have an ammo conversion. I use that term quite loosely here. And this is a 12 round magazine using hollow point rounds. And with this, it completely changes the gun. So let's start getting into the stats of this. First up, our damage profile is completely changed. When it comes to our regular torso damage, this is 44, 36, 25, which means it's now a three to four shot kill rather than a four to seven shot kill. So a significant improvement in the damage department. As for our headshot damage profile, we get the same multiplier, but the damage is 64, 58, 40, which is an insane amount of damage for an SMG. As for our rate of fire on this, it actually turns it into a two round burst. And the rate of fire within the burst itself is roughly 1,000 rounds per minute. It's very hard to calculate that with hand testing, but it's insanely fast. And then our burst delay is about 75 milliseconds, which again, that's insanely fast. There's barely any burst delay with this whatsoever. So you can still spam those rounds out very, very quickly. And what this means for our time to kill is in the three shot kill range, it's going to take you 195 milliseconds to kill, which is actually a bit slower than the standard Fennec. And then in the four shot kill range, it's 255 milliseconds, which at longer ranges, that's a significant improvement. It's worth noting with headshots up close, all it takes is one shot to the body and one shot to the head to get a kill. And in this situation, our time to kill is 60 milliseconds, which is nearly instant. Now, when it comes to ranges, we also see a really significant improvement here over the base Fennec. Our three shot kill potential extends out to 37 and a half meters, which is insane for an SMG. But keep in mind from about 20 meters to 37 and a half meters, you do have to hit all of your shots to the torso. If even just one of those shots hits the limb, you will require another bullet to kill. As for the recoil on this, there's barely any. As you can see here, we got a really tight recoil pattern. And that sounds excellent. It seems like with the hollow point rounds, this gun is much more designed for those longer range situations. However, one of the downsides of using these hollow point rounds is a significant reduction to your bullet velocity on a gun that already has very slow bullet velocity. And what this means is it's actually not that great at hitting shots at longer ranges on moving targets, unless you also stack with attachments that help with bullet velocity, like barrels for instance. But moving into some of the other things that these hollow point rounds change, because they do change quite a bit, our aim down sight time is actually improved by two frames at 60 FPS. So our new aim down sight time is 200 milliseconds, which is great. Then on top of that, our overall movement speed is improved by 3%. So our new movement speed is 100%, which is an awesome boost as well. Additionally, something that isn't stated is we do get a bit of an improvement to our reload time with this 12 round magazines. Our new reload time is 1.89 seconds, which is still slow for the SMG category, but it is noticeably faster than the base Fennec. So overall, using the hollow point mags definitely has a bunch of advantages, but some pretty heavy disadvantages as well. The main one being you burn through those magazines even faster since it's only a 12 round mag. But now that we have that covered, it's finally time to move into some of the other unique attachments with this. And let's start it off with that unique suppressor that this gun has. This is the ZLR Saber Suppressor. And with this one, like I said earlier, this actually improves your range by 20%, which is an excellent boost. And on top of this, it actually helps with recoil control, which as you can see here in the side by side, this is a noticeable reduction to your recoil, which is a nice boost as well. I should also mention that this helps with your bullet velocity a bit, which is great for this gun. It really needs all the help it can get in this area. The downside to this though is it does reduce your aim down sight speed by one frame at 60 fps so your new aim down sight time is 250 milliseconds and it also hurts your aim walking steadiness a little bit which isn't much of an issue for this gun since you'll be using it up close anyway and therefore i actually highly recommend this suppressor it's a great attachment now moving on to the other unique attachments let's get into the barrel department First up, we have the ZLR 16 inch Apex barrel. And with this one, we get a 35% increase to our damage range, which is an awesome boost. Also, this once again helps with your bullet velocity, which is great for this gun. And finally for pros, it also helps with recoil control, which as you can see here, it is definitely a noticeable improvement over the base recoil with the Fennec. And in exchange for all these upsides, our aim down sight speed is reduced by two frames at 60 FPS. So our new aim down sight time is 267 milliseconds. And on top of that, our overall movement speed is reduced by 3%, which is a pretty large reduction to movement speed. 
That's not the only barrel though, we also have the 18 inch deadfall barrel, and with this one we get a slightly better increase to our damage range at 40%, which is awesome. Also this once again helps with our bullet velocity, which is really helpful with this gun. And it again helps with recoil control quite a bit here. You can see that there's very little side to side bounce now, and this is a very controllable recoil pattern. On top of this, it's worth mentioning that this barrel does have an integrated suppressor in it, so you don't need to use a suppressor in the other slots. And in fact, that comes with one of the trade-offs. You can't use a muzzle attachment if you are using this barrel. As for the downsides, we get a pretty noticeably slower aim down sight time at 300 milliseconds. This is actually a bit slow for even assault rifles, so definitely a very noticeable downside to this. And on top of this, our overall movement speed is reduced by 4% which again, that is a very noticeable reduction. As a result of these downsides, I often find that if I am trying to run this suppressed and get a really good range out of it, I'm actually better off using the ZLR Saber Suppressor combined with the 16 inch barrel, which yes, that does take two attachment slots, but we will get a better aim down sight speed than using the 18 inch barrel, and our movement speed isn't reduced as much, and on top of that, we get a massive increase to our range at 68%. So unless you really need that extra attachment slot for something else, I'd recommend using that combination rather than using the 18 inch barrel. But finally for unique attachments, we do have the 40 round drum magazine, which I highly recommend on this gun. With this, it states that it slows down your aim down sight time, which at 60 FPS at least, there is no measurable change whatsoever, so you don't really have to worry about that too much. And then on top of that, it reduces your movement speed by just 1%, which you can really afford to do for the upsides of this 40 round mag. I would say if you've got the 40 round mag unlocked and you're not using it, you're probably doing something wrong. This is absolutely the most valuable attachment you could be using on this gun, unless you're using the hollow point rounds, of course. And the reason for that is very obvious. With the standard 25 round mags, you burn through those magazines and you burn through that ammo so, so quickly. And then you have that really slow reload time as well and that's gonna get you killed in so many situations. So if you aren't using these 40 round drum mags, you might wanna reconsider your class setup. Speaking of class setups, let's get into some of my favorite attachment combinations and class setups with the Fennec. And starting it off, this first one is all about versatility. It's about making up for the downsides of this gun while still taking full advantage of the upsides. So with this, we have that ZLR Saber Suppressor. We've got the 16 inch Apex Barrel, which if you guys remember, this combination gives us a 68% increase to our ranges, which is huge. And it also helps a ton with your bullet velocity, which is one of the big downsides with the gun. Then on top of that, of course, we are using that 40 round drum magazine. We're using the Merc Foregrip to help with that vertical recoil a bit and with our hip fire spread slightly. And then finally, since this combination of attachments will be slowing down your aim down sight speed a decent amount, we're going to be using the stippled grip tape, which helps with aim down sight speed as well as our sprint out time. Now with the setup, if you don't mind having a little bit of a slower aim down sight time, I would recommend swapping stipple grip for sleight of hand. But taking that into an example class setup, with this, it's key that we're using the 1911 as a secondary, and with that, we are also using the fully loaded weapon perk. The reason for this is they actually share ammo. They're both 45 ACP, and therefore fully loaded on the 1911 increases your total ammo pool for the Fennec as well, which is great. Then on top of that, we're using EOD, Ghost, as well as Shrapnel. This is a bit more for like Ground War, for instance, because that's mainly what I would play if I do play multiplayer. And then when it comes to our lethal, this is a Thermite to deal with tanks and stuff. And then finally, a Stim Shot for our tactical. So that's kind of my current favorite all around Fennec class setup. I just love that massive range boost that you get with that combination of the suppressor and the barrel. But now I want to move into a hollow point class setup. So with this, of course, we're using the hollow point rounds as one of our attachments. Then we've got the ZLR 18 inch barrel, which like I said, that's got an integrated suppressor, but it hurts our aim down sight time a decent amount. However, with this, we're also using the tack laser and the hollow point rounds, which will help counteract that reduction to your aim down sight speed with the barrel. Additionally, with the tack laser, this is going to help keep your aim a lot more stable at longer ranges because with those hollow point rounds and with the longest barrel, we actually can challenge people fairly comfortably at longer ranges with this. Then we've also got the Solo Zero Mini Reflex Sight. This is just a really nice looking reflex sight, and since we are challenging people at longer ranges, it will help us be a bit more precise with our shots. And then finally, we have Sleight of Hand, since with those really small 12 round magazines and the really high fire rate, we need to reload very often with this setup. Now taking that one into an example class setup, with this your secondary doesn't really matter because the hollow point rounds aren't shared with the 1911 for some reason, even though it's still 45 ACP, but whatever. And this means for our perks, we are gonna be using Scavenger, Ghost, as well as Tune Up. 
Now this one's designed a bit more for regular multiplayer, so tune-up is just so we can get Dead Silence more often. Then when it comes to our lethal, we've got a C4, and our tactical is once again going to be a stim shot. But with that, that finally wraps it up for today's gun guide on the Fennec. As for my overall thoughts on this gun, I think it is a great SMG and it really does excel quite well up close. However, I do feel it's a bit overrated. I've been seeing so many people say this gun is completely overpowered and it's the best gun in the game now. And I just don't agree with that at all. I don't think it's versatile enough. The really slow bullet velocity and really slow reload time really keep this gun in check quite well in my opinion. And on top of that, that range drop off is fairly short compared to the other SMGs. So I'm not saying it's a bad gun by any means because it is great. I just don't think it's the best gun in the game and it's super amazing like some people claim that it is. But of course, that's just my opinion. I'd like to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think about the Fennec? Do you think it is one of the best guns in the game and maybe even a little bit overpowered? Or do you agree with me? Do you think it is a little bit overrated? Just let me know those thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.